Hi, this is Sunny Solanki and you're tuned to Coders Column. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to link Matplotlib charts with widgets to create interactive UIs in Jupyter Notebook. I will explain you two different ways of creating these kinds of UI. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so as you can see on my screen, I already have started Jupyter Notebook where we will be coding. So over here, I have a sample image of how our final UI will look like. So we will create a simple scatter chart, which will show the relationship between two columns of our selected data set. And we can select those columns using these two drop down widgets. So here is the drop down to select X axis column. And here is the drop down to select Y axis column. And then we can color the points of the chart based on one categorical column. So if we select this checkbox, the points of the chart will be colored based on the unique values of that column. Otherwise, otherwise, all the points will be colored with just one color. So let's get started and create this UI. So first of all, you need to install IPy widgets and matplotlib. So you can install it using pip command. And over here, I have imported IPy widgets as widgets and printed the version which we are going to use. So first of all, we need to load the data set that we are going to use in our tutorial. So I have decided to use a wine data set which is available from a Python library scikit-learn. And it's a machine learning data set, which has information about various ingredients used in creation of three different types of points. So let me execute this line of code and let me show you how the data set looks. So the data set is loaded with a pandas data frame. And as you can see, these are various ingredients used in creation of uh, different kinds of wine. And wine type is a categorical column. It has three values, class zero, class one, and class two and all other columns are continuous columns. Right, so let's go ahead and create a first UI. So this is the first way of creating UI. And over here, I have already included code to create a chart. So this function creates scatter chart. It takes three values, ingredient one, ingredient two, and color and code. So ingredient one is a string specifying ingredient for X axis. Ingredient two is uh, another string specifying ingredient for Y axis and color encode is either true or false. So you want to color points of the chart based on a wine type or not. So based on color encode, if color encode is set, I have if else condition. So if color encode is not set, we simply call plt.scatter and then we for X axis, we take ingredient one values or Y axis, we take ingredient two values and we simply create a scatter chart. Now all points will be of dodger blue color. Now for the case of color and code, we go through unique values of wine type. And for each value, we call plt.scatter. So we filter our data frame for that value. And then we take uh, ingredient one value. So for let's say the ingredient is alcohol. So we take class zero values and then take alcohol values from them. And same for class two and class one. Same way we use filter data from Y axis values. And we have color map over here, which can be used to select the color of the points. So let me execute this line of code, which can be used to create a scatter chart. Right, so now that uh, function is defined, let's test it. So over here, I have given first ring as alcohol, which is one ingredient name. Second is malic acid. And for color and code, I have set it to true. So yeah, as you can see, it has created a link between two. So it has created a scatter chart, which shows the link between alcohol and malic acid. And points of the charts are colored based on wine type, which is class zero, class one, and class two. If I set it to false color and code, as you can see, all the points are colored with the single color. So let's go ahead and create widgets. So over here, I have created three widgets, which we need for our purpose. The first is a drop down, first drop down for X axis. Options are ingredients, so ingredients are list of ingredients available to us. And same way, there is a Y axis drop down. And using widgets dot checkbox function, we have created check. Let me execute this line of code. Now, in order to create a UI, first of all, we need to create output widget where the chart will be plotted. So in order to do that, I have called this function interactive output and to that function i have given our create scatter chart this function 
and the second parameter to this interactive output is a dictionary where we are mapping like to input to this function ingredient one parameter is mapped to drop down one ingredient two is mapped to drop down two and color and code is mapped to color and code so let me execute this line of code so this will link the chart with the parameters of the chart function with widgets as you can see the scatter chart is output widget and in it the chart will be plotted so let me show you scatter chart so as you can see this is the default chart so next what we can do is that now we have a scatter chart in our widget and we have other widgets drop down in already so we can create our final ui so that's what i have done over here so vbox function is uh, used to lay out widgets in vertical fashion and hbox is used to lay out widgets in uh, horizontal fashion so i have laid out drop down one and drop down two horizontally and all other widgets so color and code uh, checkbox and chart is vertically laid out so let me execute this line of code and as you can see we have our final ui ready so let's test it so over here let me change it to ash so as you can see the chart is updated it's ash versus malic acid let me color the points so as you can see it's coloring the point if i unselect it points are again all larger blue i can try different values and yeah so as you can see it's uh, that easy to create interactive ui involving matplotlib and matplotlib charts and widget in jupyter notebook so this was the first way of creating interactive ui now let me go ahead and tell you the one more way of creating interactive ui all right so here is the code for creating chart one more way interactive ui one more way so again i have declared all the widgets and then as you can see this time i have declared output widget separately so i have not called interactive output function but i have declared output widget as a scatter chart and then i have declared a function over here so every time this function is called what it does is it calls our create uh, scatter chart function then it takes drop down values and checkbox values and create charts uh, create uh, scatter chart and as you can see there is a decorator to this function which captures the output of this function which is chart so every time this function will be called it will create a chart and that chart will be plotted in this output widget so now when this function will be called so we will link it with all the widgets so anytime widget value change this function will be called so it's a callback so uh, i have called observe function over here on all the three widgets and for all of them i'm calling this update chart function as you can see in names is set to value so any value changes for these widgets then this chart will be updated so this is the one more way of uh, creating uh, interactive ui so over here i have used the events and callbacks of uh, ipy widgets to create ui so now that i have linked this scatter chart with our chart and created widget so let's create a final ui so this code is same like earlier so hbox is drop one drop two color and code and so on so let me execute this line of code and now as you can see the chart is not created by default because this function create chart is not called even a single time so as soon as i will change the any widget state any value it will create a chart so let me change it so as you so, as you can see as soon as i change the drop down uh, this uh, checkbox value it created a chart so let's try a different value and as you can see it's updating charts so yeah so that's uh, one more way of uh, creating interactive uis involving matplotlib charts and widgets all right so that's it for today's tutorial in today's tutorial i explain you how you can link matplotlib charts with ipy widget widgets to create interactive uis in jupyter notebook if you want to learn more about ipy widgets and matplotlib then please feel free to check various playlists on our website i have a separate playlist on ipy widgets and matplotlib both so if you liked our video and you learned something new today then give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel for more such videos and see you next time